Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, I am going to cover Ajax. So, what Ajax is all about? Ajax is asynchronous JavaScript and XML. It helps your data to go from client to server without refreshing the browser's window. So, it jQuery provides multiple methods for Ajax. There are load, get, there are Ajax, Ajax setup, we have get JSON, get script and post. Each method has its own functionality. Load, load HTML data from the server and inject it in the dome of clients. Then get, get loads a remote page using get request. Ajax loads a remote page using HTTP request, this is a generic method. Ajax setup, setup global properties of your Ajax request. Get JSON, load JSON data which is JavaScript notation into your HTTP get request. Then get script, loads and execute a JavaScript file into your browser, post, ports make a request using post request. Let us see um, syntax of these methods. We have syntax like load, each method have URL, data, callbacks. These are common variables passed in each and every method. You can see load has these three parameters, get has these three parameters, post has these three parameters, then get JSON has these three parameters. Function of each every variable is no, nearly common. We have URL which is the server side URL to which the request is to be made. We have data which is to be passed to the server. We have callbacks which is function to be invoked once server has responded back. You have received your data from the server, let us do some action. So, it takes first parameter as the response which is received from the server and second is the status code whether your request has succeeded or failed or failed. So, get makes a get request then again parameters are same. Similarly, we have post making a post request, we have JSON getting the JSON data, we have script to get the script and we have Ajax which is a generic method to make request to load HTML pages using Ajax request. So, let us see the example. Here, here we have the example running. Let us see what we have done. In our DOM, we have a button to load data. Functionality is when I click on load data, it should make a request to server to get a HTML file whose content is dev hello world dev. This HTML content should get loaded from the server into this empty dev, data dev. So, how we are making it? We are making like this. We have load button click, okay. We have function event, load the data. Here is the Ajax request. I am loading example.htm from the server using my load method and done. My data dev loads the content of example.htm in the DOM and you can see the result hello world. Let us see this in our practical session. In this example, we are going to make an Ajax request to load example.htm in the data dev. To run this example properly, we need this particular file lie on app server and example.htm in the same directory. So, here you can see the jQuery folder is same for my HTML file example underscore 16 and example.htm. So, here my URL is local and it is relative, it is example.htm. So, I am loading example.htm contents in data dev. So, let us see the output in the browser. So, here click on the button to load example.htm file in the dev, load data and here you can see the hello world. 